Konnichiwa, everybody. Got an eBay purchase. Stick around and let's see uh, what I got. Konnichiwa, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Got a fun eBay purchase. I've got some postcards. Now on eBay, you can usually find some good deals on postcards, Japanese sumo wrestling postcards. Um, you know, if you can pick them up for $10 or less a postcard, you're doing pretty good. Um, if you can get them any cheaper than that, then you're doing really good. So I picked these up, didn't have them. They're more common postcards, but, uh, but looking again to uh, get them cataloged and complete more of my um, checklist for these particular cards. Got some nice packaging here, so thanks as I kind of work through this. But yeah, I've been getting into postcards more and more recently, just realizing their role in sumo card history and just the importance of, um, the importance of, ooh, I got some bonus free stuff in this, so yeah, let's look inside. So just the importance of sumo cards uh, in sumo card history. And in the 19... 20s, 20s, 30s, there wasn't many options for getting wrestlers photographs. Postcards were one way. And so this is a, a set of postcards. Let's see. You can see here the original packaging, which is even cooler. Um, I wish I could read all that. Um, I'm not even sure what all that says there. But let me look. Let's see. Got some writing here. Got the paper that it came in. Not sure if these are sold at the Koko Gikan, but let's look. Wow, okay. I picked up uh, Futabayama. This is his wrestling days um, postcard. Kind of a little bit roached on the back. Unused though, but pretty dirty. But uh, just any card that I can get to Futabayama in his wrestling card days is awesome. Hoshikabuto. Look at that. Great picture. Again, all these have a little bit of damage, but that, to me, that doesn't that doesn't matter. I'm more interested in the history of them. Kind of put that one there. Oh, I can't read that one. Ishii. Hmm. Uh, I'll put that one up post production on actually what this is or who that is. Shimizugawa. Very cool. These are the um, uh, I can't remember 1936-37 Seikaido Tokyo. And again, you can tell the age of a, a Japanese postcard. If this line is in the center of the card, it's uh, it's in the 30s or later. If this line is offset kind of more under the P, then it's um, your 19-teens, 1920s postcard. So these are from the 1930s. Some great ones here. Matsumayama. Great black and white photographs there. Eh, it was a... Why not? Something Mus Musashiyama. Nice. What is that? Ao Aonoyama, maybe? Again, these are all from the same set. Put that in there. Ah, love it. Love these old black and white photographs. Love the black and white postcards. They come, this also comes in an S series set. And what that means is these are stadium sets. So you buy at the Koku Gikan. They were about the quarter of the size in, in packages. You buy them at the Koku Gikan, then you can take them home and listen on the radio to your favorite wrestler. Again, then they sold these larger postcard size of all these wrestlers. This Seikaido set was pretty popular. It's pretty common. You can find these all the time at auction. Uh, so take a look out there if you're interested in postcards. Again, I got these off eBay. Had a wonderful transaction with the individual. And uh, let's see what I get for bonus cards. Kind of excited to see bonus stuff. Ooh, wow. Bon <laughs> I wasn't expecting these bonus postcards. Who is that? So this looks like from the 30s as well. So there you go. You can see that middle line there. Some, something in the 30s. Wow. Who's that? Can't tell there. Another postcard. Another Seikaido. A little different design. You can see the stamp area has got some writing in there, but still Seikaido. Ooh. 
And this one looks like Fut Futabayama. Uh, maybe so then maybe these are earlier Seikaido ones. We'll see. This is kind of the same design there. Very cool. So that's nice. Be able to catalog both of those. It might be a little different set, just different styles, but very cool. Oh, wow. And also got some cool, some 1940s BP series, Tokitsuyama. So these are BP series in my book. These are very distinguishable set. You can see that large white border at the bottom. Yoshibayama, when he uh, was a Ozeki at least, not, a, not quite a Yokozuna. So these are probably early 1950s, 1949, 1950. I'll put up post-production what set they're from. That's awesome. Shinobu Yama. Um, yeah, Hoshiwa. Ooh, and there you go. That's a winner stamp one, Atari. So you would win, when you pull these out, you would win a free prize out of the bromide pack or Taba pack. Oh, very cool. Again, I'm put these up post-production. This looks like a late 40s. This is a B, B series, so they use the halftone printing process on this. And then another early 50s, late 40s, um, Yokozuna Terukuni BP series Semenko. Wow, great transaction. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Love it. Hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope this inspires you for your own uh, collecting um, endeavors. All right, thanks everybody. Sayonara, bye.